Isabel Chalmers wants to know how bubbles react in space and if the space station wobbles. Well, actually, the space station is very, very stable because there's no wind uh, to blow on it uh, and no forces to act upon it. It's just actually drifting in space very freely around and around the Earth. It does occasionally uh, uh, feel some movement when they power up the engines or the thrusters to lift it into higher orbits, uh, but uh, normally the space station sits very still. In fact, if I could float something very still in the air, it would generally stay there, except that I've got a fan here blowing next to me. But uh, uh, as a general rule, things float very, very stably. And uh, if you wait just a minute, I'll give you a bubble demonstration. Isabel Chalmers, age eight, from St. Savior's Primary School, wants to know how bubbles react in space. Well, I happen to have a bag full of water here with a few bubbles in it. And you can see if I agitate the bag and get the bubbles to uh, float around in there, you can see that uh, the bubbles stay suspended in the middle of the water. The bubbles uh, don't float to the top because here at the ISS, there is no top, and so uh, uh, bubbles are actually hard to get out. So when you like drink, uh, this is actually a drinking tube. When you drink water out of this, you tend to drink a lot of uh, air bubbles with it uh, because it's very hard to separate. In fact, there's equipment on board for the drinking water that spins, spins the liquid, and you can see if I spin it, I can actually get most of the bubbles to come to one end and most of the water to go to the other. They're making uh, what you might consider artificial gravity by making the heavier water go to the bottom and uh, therefore get the uh, air bubbles up near the top. And that's how bubbles work here in outer space.